Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am here to talk to you about a card that I have thrown a little shade at. Definitely I have given it its props as my workhorse card. It's one of my favorite cards and I've even put out a video telling you how boring it is to review but this is actually a special expose on the card which really makes me happy because I've done some research and I think you guys are going to enjoy it too. But right now, what I'm going to give you is a year in review, my very first year with the MX Gold card. So as always, I'll let the kid do her thing and then we'll get right into it. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and don't forget to share. Now the Gold card special in my collection because honestly, when I got it, I didn't do a watch me apply. I didn't do an unboxing. I mean, I figured there are just so many of those out there anyway. So there's really no reason to waste you guys' time with that. But I did get a record high welcome offer and we're gonna answer a few things concerning the gold card and how it has possibly affected my credit card collection. And what you're gonna also want to do is stick towards the end where I actually pull the numbers. I've actually pulled all of the numbers from American Express to show exactly how many points I've earned. I will give you how many points per dollar spend I've earned on the gold card. And I think you're gonna be pretty shocked at some of these numbers. So first things first, when did I get the gold card? I actually acquired the gold card in June of 2022. Now I had already been in the credit card game for about six months, but frankly, I just could not hold back anymore. I absolutely just had to have the card. And then also participating in the credit card community discord run by Mark Primale and Daniel Braun afforded me the opportunity to link up with another user who was able to give me an elevated 90K MR point bonus award. So at that point, I just couldn't help it. If you see my recent video on the green card, record high offers definitely bring me out of any sort of gardening and hiding because, well, they're record high. So that is when I got it. And getting it during the summer was actually kind of a good thing because I had a lot of contracts I was working and, you know, like I've stated in numerous videos, I live with a few people who eat every day. And I mean every day. It doesn't quite look like it, but trust me, it costs to feed them every single day. So now you're probably wondering, well, if you were in the credit card game for six months, you already had the Amex card because I've watched the previous videos because I am a fan of Chad's Money Minutes. What took you so long to get the gold card? Well, the fact was, was I was building my Amex trifecta, but I already had a hybridized version because I jumped the gun and got the blue cash preferred where I was getting 6% on all of my groceries as opposed to the 4% with the gold card. I was mixing cash back and MR points. As far as eating was concerned, I do believe my wife had the CSP by that time. She got that before I got the gold card. And I had other avenues to get uh, dining multipliers. So it wasn't really an imperative. In addition to that, my platinum card, my Charles Schwab platinum card that I did get in January also came with what I call an additive bonus benefit where when I applied for the card, I was earning 100,000 MR points to $6,000 worth of spend in six months, plus for six months, it gave me 10X on restaurant purchases. So pretty much all my food purchases were covered. So that's why it was not a huge imperative for me to get the gold card. But when that 10X on the platinum card went away, in came the gold card. Now, when the gold card got here, I went to go ahead and run up that sub because I needed a set of tires for my car. I got the sub pretty quick. And like I said, it was a record high 90K points. I could think of a million things to do with this 90K. I hadn't actually done my first redemption yet, but I had already been studying, knowing that I was gonna get way above the two cents per point that the points guy assigned to the MR points, so I was really happy. So once again, it was the 90K offer. As a matter of fact, I think that offer is still available today, and I think they put an additive 20% um, bonus on it. I, I haven't been keeping track since I already have the card, and you have that once in a lifetime business going on. So how have I used the card in the last year? Well, obviously I've used it for all things food, period anniversary dinners, birthday dinners, just regular fast food runs, grocery stores. You know, my wife uses, um, I think it's like Walmart delivery. So we have a mix of that and grocery store proper purchases. But um, also I have used the card 
to buy things that have afforded me Amex offers. Now getting back to the food purchases, I've successfully used every Uber credit and every dining credit that is afforded to me every single month on the card. Now if you've been watching, you already know that's $120 a year for both. So now the Uber credit isn't necessarily a food credit, but all I use it for is Uber Eats. So I make sure I get something you know, that I can pick up, that I can pay for through the Uber Eats app and sidestep the delivery fees. And then because I travel a lot, sometimes I'm actually able to use the dining credits in restaurant. But other than that, most of the time, I just use Grubhub for a pickup. So I've actually gotten $240 worth of value from the card, making my effective annual fee $10. Now, some people talk about you may be able to do that, but I'm here to tell you I have actually done that. There are also trackers on the American Express website where the, you can track what your um, what part of your credit that you're using. I have it on the platinum and I've seen it on the gold, but uh, things change on a day-to-day -day basis. So if it's not there, don't shoot the messenger. But now in addition to that, I've actually used the Amex offer on my gold card. I use Amex offers all the time, but I tend to use them on other cards because my gold card, every time I look at it, I just think about food. But I've actually used it on another, I think it was a Mother's Day, no. It was, no, it was just because flower delivery for the wife. And I actually got $18 back from that purchase. So now what happens is, is when you use Amex offers, I can apply that to my effective annual fee and say that over the last year that this card not only has not cost me any money, but has actually provided at least, at the very least, $8 of net positive value. So now, before I get into the numbers, the exciting stuff, and either way, there are chapters in the bottom, so you've probably already skipped to the numbers already, but who is this card for? I have said this in numerous card reviews. I It, it has been pretty much etched in stone. It is a part of societal norms. This card is for people who eat food. It doesn't have to be expensive food. It, it, can, it doesn't even have to be good food, but the fact is, if you eat, this card is for you. You should be able to extract some sort of value out of this. And for the points earning potential for this card, let's say you don't use all of the dining credits and you just use the Uber credits or vice versa. First and foremost, you're leaving money on the table and we know how I feel about that. Give me that. But you are not leaving as much money on the table as someone who does not have one of these cards because the 4X multipliers and the fact that at restaurants it is unlimited, at restaurants it's worldwide, and at grocery stores it's up to $25,000 worth of spend at U.S. grocery stores, you can actually make the value up off the credits that you don't use anyway. So this card just earns and earns and earns and earns. There's no doubt about it. That's why I call it my workhorse. I've heard it referred to as a lot of other people's workhorse and you will scarcely find a what's in my wallet video where people who are card members of this card aren't carrying it year round. So here's the part that we've all been waiting for. Here's the exciting part that you had to listen to all that babbling about the hard and fast numbers. How many points have I earned with this card? Now, according to the Amex website, I actually pulled a report of all my points earning just with my goal card and the grand total spending, my sub, multipliers, and referral bonuses, remember that is a superpower of Amex, gives me a grand total of points earned with this card in the last year of 316,277 Amex MR points. Isn't that crazy? You see how many points this card's earned? You see how much you eat? So now I'm gonna give you some breakdowns here and we're gonna put it in relation to my spending. So that means on average, on a monthly basis, I've earned 26,356 points per month, which breaks down to a daily earning of 866 and a half points a day. Now imagine you're just walking around, somebody's just throwing almost 900 points at you a day that you're going to redeem for travel because we're team travel over here. It's just incredible. The earning power of this card is incredible and I'm not even as popular as others. I haven't had as many people use my referrals as other people's have. I did max out in 2022, but I don't think I'm there yet in 2023 because unfortunately my link hasn't been as competitive with the public offer as I like. But I mean, like I said, those change a lot. So who knows how that's gonna change. So now the last thing, as far as my points earning is concerned, is that 
if you value these points at one cent a point, which I do not, I value them more, that's still $3,100 worth of value just from the points alone. So that has eclipsed the $250 annual fee. If you value them at the points guy, two cents per point value with all the points that I've earned, now you're over $6,300 worth of value, which is even crazier because now this card is paying for itself year over year over year over year. And that's just within the first year. And that's just utilizing some referrals and a sub. Now, as far as travel is concerned, what I like to do is be totally transparent. Now, in my first major redemption for my trip to Paris, I got 6.16 cents per point value on my MR points. And now recently with my redemption to Milan, I got about 5.97 cents. So what I did was I averaged those you know, I let the lower bring down the higher to give you an average redemption rate of points when I use them to book travel, because that is what I use them for. I do not use them for cash back. So now I have an average redemption rate of about six cents, 6.05 cents per point. Now, if I apply that to all of the points that I've used, I have actually gained over $19,000 in potential free travel from my spend and my points earnings on the gold card. This card's never leaving my wallet. I, I don't care how many retentions I call for. I hope they never watch this video, but let's just face it. This card's never leaving my wallet and I find it very rare to find somebody who says, I canceled the gold card because of negative, 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 negative. There's just simply too much value to be had from it. So now as far as my total spend is concerned, according to the report I pulled, I spent $18,589 on this card. Now, if we subtract the annual fee, which is $250, we get a total spend of $18,339 and some change, of course. If that is divided into the amount of points I've earned, literally on average, I've earned 17 points per dollar spent on this card. I was gonna go deeper in the math and try to break it up for the multipliers, but there's no need to do all that. The fact of the matter is for every dollar I've spent on this card, on average, I've earned 17 points. That is a 17% return on every dollar per average. I don't think I really need to expound on that as those numbers simply speak for themselves. Now, in addition to that, I was actually able to drill down and I can tell you that half of that spend, half of the spend that I, I've actually used this card on has been on restaurants at about $9,700 for the year. So I say all of that to say this is that this card is definitely going to be something that will always be in my wallet. It will always be in my stable. It is a part of my Roman Legion American Express collection, which is now up to seven with my recent acquisition of the Amex green card. Now, I hope this has helped somebody and this has actually been way more exciting than most boring gold card reviews that you see. At least it was more exciting for me to do. I hope it was more exciting for you to hear. Now you can look at the other videos that I've done about the gold card. I'll go ahead and link them here. And I really, really do hope you appreciated this. And if you stayed all the way to the end, why don't you drop a little credit card emoji in the bottom? Every so often I do this, but I think it's pretty cool to see who checked out the numbers and whatnot. And hopefully that would help you and maybe sway you all. Also leave a link to my gold, my gold card link. But as always, please, 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 please double check and make sure that it is competitive. So I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. Thank you so much for coming to the channel and I'll catch you later.